Scott and Frost was electric fires. We set your clocks and we write your thoughts. It's burning down. Let's keep it up. Flames they grow strong. The louder the song. Hello, everybody. Name's Fen. Playing some this game, and I figured out where to go off camera the other time I got to go back into the house and get some stuff that I missed and what do you know it's gonna be that typical thing that's that you can always miss and uh, I suppose I should have got back there first but never mind get back there now prepare for me to be drowned out The important secret of the universe. No, your eyes, and that's all you got to do to learn everything. Now that I've told you that, <laughs> let's go to the house. Now, I realized I thought I was kind of just KOing people in one area, but I KO'd almost everybody around here, and I feel kind of bad about that, you know. I think my videos are more interesting and exciting when there's a little bit of me going around doing a bit of dodging and stuff, you know. But, uh, never mind. It's all good. Just sort of run willy-nilly around here, clacking on the floor. Yes, okay, so first thing I forgot is this all-important room. It's the bathroom. Pretty important. But seriously, I did these in a throwaway take, but I what forgot that, that I didn't I do them. What is that? Who goes? I'm I, hoping I won't get caught by this guy. Does he turn the light on? There's the bill. Halt! That <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does turn the light on. Totally. Well, uh... Just a second, I'll see you back there. Oh, hey, I found a new piece of loot here. Here. All right, pretty cool. Back here. So, I'm gonna try something different this time. Put the light out, maybe. Maybe put this one out, too. All right. Oh, well, there's still the windows light, but oh well. Hey, who comes on to me? Try to do this. Oh, there we go. Brother Selyard, the recent demise of Lord Robert Farrington hath once again brought up the question about the rightful heir of Farrington Church. As thou surely dost know, Robert's father, Edward, built the underground church as a donation to the order, but an ambiguous wording in his last will made Robert the exclusive owner. Although we do know that Robert was by far not as devoted a follower of the Hammer as his father had been, it is expected that Farrington Church will finally be passed to the Hammerite Order. It hath been decided that thou art to travel to Farrington Manor and attend the reading of the Testament as a representative of the Order. Thy knowledge about secular legislation and the law of succession in particular might prove to be useful in this matter. May the hammer fall on the unrighteous. Officially, Father Terence, for some reason I'm trying to do some kind Vigilance of... Vigilance is our... Do my eyes show me her right? Some kind of like different English accent combined with that hammer one. Hasn't know. someone come? Yeah, the nobody's come. Him. Brother Selyard and I arrived at late Robert Farrington's manor this morning. After a minor dispute with his heirs, Nathaniel and Geoffrey, we were allowed to occupy both guest rooms, since rooms, <laughs> since the beds in Farrington Church are already in use. The hammer of righteousness shall fall on those who build their walls on a foundation of falsehood. He likes to just write these things after every entry for some reason. As requested by High Priest Relig, we brought sixteen eternal candles from Lightforge Cathedral. Farrington Church's occasional underground winds kept blowing out the common ones. Thy life is a trial, as thy path is strewn with deceit. Be wary of liars, for they take the builder's words and twist them with their forked tongues. I am trying to find some rest, but Brother Selyard's chants keep me, keep me awake. 
I do wonder why I can hear them coming from the western wall. Found that out already. With the same force, a nail needs to be driven into the wood. A novice needs to be disciplined so he doth not stray from the one true path. Drive a nail right into his skull. The heart of a poet, yet also with the hands of the builder. Anyways, this will lead me to this room here. Apparently, apparently there is some type of book here. Ah, there. Come on. Man. Yep. Hubston and Smith High Security Vault Door. Installation and Maintenance Guide. Serial number blah 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 whatever. Congratulations on your decision to purchase a Hubston and Smith High Security Vault Door. At Hubston and Smith, we strive to provide you with the very best in safekeeping and protection. Serving major customers across the city for over 50 years, we have earned our reputation as an upstanding business and our renowned name in maximum security. A renowned name? You skip several pages of self-praising gibberish. <laughs> yes. Realism there. Chapter 1. Installation Continued. Thanks to the special alloy the security door is made of, and the reinforced concrete surrounding it, there's no possible way of entering the vault by force. Security tip number 13. 13? Our doors are designed to withstand even medium-sized earthquakes, but be aware that large vibrations could cause the security lock to reset itself to the standard factory setting. Browsing. Chapter 3. The Combination Lock. This chapter provides you with an easy-to-follow step-by-step guide on how to change your lock's combination. This is a very crucial step, and you should take it as soon as your vault door has been installed. 1. Remove the 16 screws at the door's back to open the cover plate. 2. Push the buttons labeled A and B simultaneously and wait until four small dials appear. 3. Turn the dials to set your new combination. Up here? Dials up here? What is this, the touch screen? I don't know. Four, repeat step two and screw on the cover plate. Security tip number 30, 32. This is a joke. The standard factory setting is the last four digits of the door's serial number. Change it as soon as possible and memorize your new combination. Do not write it down. Do not write it down! So that's one, two, three, four. Totally coincidentally enough. And, you know, I still don't know, like key is for there, but I'll, I'll be coming back to the house later on, so it's no real trouble. There's a few doors I haven't unlocked and stuff, and there's the attic, and yeah, there's plenty of stuff left. But now, y'all, remember where we got to go now. The vault. In the trap door of misreading the lines. It's never really any... No, it's never really anything. You know, I like this musical ambiance track here. Uh, it's one of my favorites from the original. Okay, well, there we go. It was that easy. I could have guessed that. There you go. Oh, yes. Money, money, money. Am I meant to simply smash this? I guess so. Wow, that's... <laughs> oh, I love this sort of thing. Oh, what was that? Oh, right. Obtained 5,000 in loot. That was it, yeah? Okay. Quite a bit of loot in this mission. I like when you have these reward rooms with tons of loot in them. Pretty fun. Ah, yes. Pretty fun. Got some kind of un-English looking glyphs there for some reason. Oh yes, this this is that thing. Okay, you remember I said there was a puzzle with this one. Uh, oh, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ha, wait a minute. Doesn't say how many book it. The hunting dragon. There's a puzzle. Um. This corresponds to the switches. So I guess that, but that doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna have to. What 
Wait, is that supposed to be like... Okay, hang on, because there's these start, there's these... Okay, there's three points there, there's three down the middle, there's two that side. I don't get it. This is like in a totally different shape than it should be. Okay, but thi these points need to be like that. They need to be straight. And I guess that must need to be there because that needs to be up. These should probably be like... Oh. <laughs> Near enough. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez. Forgot about that. Boy. What are we here? Ancient tome. Did I spawn a haunt? Or is that just an effect? Words of wisdom are written in this book. Words that shall guide you through the path that awaits you. No matter what you are seeking, be it treasures or enlightenment, always remember the following advice. When trapped in a corner, the prey shall be the one to signal the beginning of the hunting season. The rising sun will be its refuge. Man, I was expecting this book to be some evil Necronomicon, but it was just like a little hint. <laughs> yes. The crooked pole. That is what I am going to use. Well, I'll let you guys see it later. As for now, that will be next time. See you guys tomorrow for more adventure. Alright, take care.